Hi, Diamond Painting friends. It's Linda with Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really do appreciate it. So today I have a Captured by Radiance canvas to share and unbox with you guys. This I've had for, I don't know, a few weeks, maybe a month, and I just haven't had a chance to get around to doing the unboxing. I got this on sale. So I think they are using a different manufacturer now. I'm not sure. So... Uh, I think this is on like a, or they upgraded or something like that. So this is one of the ones that are on the previous run, I guess. So, okay, let's open it. So it says, Captured by Radiance, your masterpiece awaits. I haven't done a Captured by Radiance yet. I hope to get to one canvas this, this year or at least start one. But I, and I think I know which one I want to kit up. I have one that has tigers on it, so I think I'm going to kit that one up sometime this year and at least get it started. So, as part of my year of the large canvases. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna finish all these that I'm starting, but I want to at least try these different companies. So this one is a 60 by 80, it's a square, and it has these beautiful dolphins. Are those dolphins? I don't even know. I don't, yeah, I think they're dolphins. Anyway, let's open it up and take a look inside. I bought, when I bought this, I got it with two pens. I should have brought those so I could show them with you, but I have shared them on my channel. And, oh, oh I almost, I need my, my scissors. I didn't realize it was still taped. Okay, so let's go like this. And we'll go like this. So do y'all own a Captured by Radiance canvas? Let me know in the comments. Or do you have one of their pens? I'm just gonna move the box over here. Pull this out. I love how it comes in this organza bag. So pretty. And we'll put the box aside. Let's open this up. And the canvas is nice and soft. And it has these scalloped edges to help prevent with frame, the scalloped and poked. And I'm going to try to, let's go like this first before I get all those drills out. It kind of weights it down a little bit. And this is poured glue, so you can, oh, you can bend it back. But let's see. So I do not own any double-sided adhesives, but I, I bought a canvas from, I'm going to own one now. I bought a canvas from uh, Homespun Hobby and it's an, one of her older canvases, the one um, before she started printing and making them herself at, in, her, in her home. So, and I didn't realize when I ordered it, which is fine. I kind of, I kind of want to at least have one double-sided adhesive just to have the experience. So it actually worked out and it's not super huge. But anyway, let's get back to this unboxing. Um, so this says Captured by Radiance right there. And right here is a thumbnail. Sunlit Sanctuary by Adrian Chesterman. And again, it's a 60 by 80 centimeters and Here's a legend on this side. And it's this is a really nice canvas. Okay, so I'm gonna move all this over and we'll look at this in just a moment. But I'm going to unroll this. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. So here's the back. And right here, let's see. Um, I think once the plastic, you roll the plastic. Let's see if I get this to focus. Apologize. Doesn't want to focus. Okay. Um, like right here. And I guess I'm going to move this up just a little bit. I think it'll be easier that way. So it's, it's really nice. It doesn't show a whole lot of bubbles okay let's just go like this 
but once you pull the plastic back I believe these will go away so let's put it this way maybe it'll focus now oops now I have it upside down let's go this way how did I do that okay so down here you have all the like the, the underwater plants on the bottom and then on the top let's see trying to pull it down while not hitting the the camera stand and there's the top so we'll just leave it like that for right now so here is this is a sticker sheet, but they, these aren't individually cut, which is fine. I don't mind cutting those. Here's the picture. Very pretty. And then you have some instructions. And here's the toolkit. I always love when they give you an organza bag because you could reuse this um, with gifts to other people or just, I like that it's see-through. So if I want to use it for something, I know what's in there. Oh, and look at a cover minder. Look at that. Let's take a look at that. It matches a canvas. I could just use this cover minder. So a cover minder is what holds the plastic back right here when you're working on a section. Let's see, little focus. Isn't that pretty? I really like this one. And I love these magnets. You see this magnet? So they're nice and thick, like, let me show you one. When they're like that, they, they work really great. There's some that are super thin and I don't like those. Okay, so here is our business card. I don't know why my camera is having so such a hard time with focusing today. And then you also get everything you need. Oh, look at this washi tape. This is a pretty one. It goes with a canvas and you have a blue comfort grip for your pen. You have a tray, some blue wax. Here's your pen with the single placer and you can put a multi-placer on that side. And here is some tweezers and they're very pointy. So make sure you have that on there. And here's some multi-placers that you put on this side. So you could place more drills down at a time. And I think this one, this one is six or seven. And I think that one's a four. And does this one say? It's a seven placer. Okay, so let's put all of this aside. We'll just put it over here. Oh, I like that cup reminder. And here the drills are. These ones are bagged in these little baggies, so you're all ready to go. You're all ready to kit it up. And look at this. Um, Oh, you know what? It said square, but this is a round. Doesn't it say square? Hmm. That's okay. So this is the beautiful Aurora Borealis ABs. I think I, I maybe they just ran out of boxes. Cause I honestly I don't know if I ordered square or round. Um, and to me it doesn't matter. I don't mind if I have round on this size of a canvas. Actually will be nice to have around. So to tell you the truth, I'd have to go back and look and see what I bought, but around is perfectly fine. Isn't that pretty? Look at that color palette. Very nice. The drills look good. It's, um, they look really pretty. Oh, I love this color palette. It's gonna be so pretty with all these blues right here. So let's see, I don't know, if, well, we saw some AB. So there's one, two, three, four ABs. And then it's gonna be a blue, green, red, and yellow. Very pretty. And the legend is really nice because this one, this one goes this way. So if you're working on it, you know, going up and then the other legend is upside down, so when you flip it over, it'll be right side up. And here is the drill field. Let's go ahead and look at that. Everything is so clear. 
let's see the section right here so you have a four yeah everything looks good I can't wait to work on one okay so let me just move this up a little bit so I think some of the ABs might be down here so we have a red AB which is 43 and it's the number eight so I I do prefer one like there's number eight and six if they were actually up here you see how that one is where that four is let me show you it's not a deal breaker but if this one was up here that would be I like when the numbers align what I really like is when they use numbers and then the alphabet and then go to symbols. So, but other than that, everything looks good with the symbols. I don't see anything that's that would that looks to be too confusing. So we're gonna see if I could find the EBs for the red, which is number eight. And I let me move this painting up a little bit. Let's move it a little bit more. So I do see, let's see, I see some eights right here. Let's see, some eights. So I think there's gonna that's in here. And there's some in here. So I think it's just gonna be like sprinkled throughout this red area down here. And there's like a few here. So this right here, let's pull this back a little bit. So this plastic isn't too thick. I prefer it a little bit thicker than this. This is pretty thin actually. Let's just go like that. It's kind of hard when you don't have a flat surface. So I don't know if this will work on here. So it did get rid of some of it, but I think if I had a harder surface that would work better, but at least it doesn't have like all that, like an air bubble right there now. Okay, let's put this back up. So yeah, I see some, some, let's see, that's N and, what's that glare? I wonder if I could turn off the light. Let's see if we can do that, if it'll help. It's a little bit on the dark side though. Okay, let's just turn it back on. So that is where the red AB is. There's also a blue AB with the letter O. And there's a lot of blue. So let's see, where would where would some of the ABs be for O? We have C's over here. We have not there. Maybe it's going to be down here as well. I am not seeing that. Let's go to the next one and I'll keep my eye out while I'm looking for the next one as well. So green is number six. So let's see. There's my little pen. I see, I see there's a six and here's a six over here. And then I see some sixes right here, right here. These greens are, are a dot, not a six. And these are all dots right here. So maybe it's just like in this area. Oh, here's a six over here. One little six here. Oh, three right here. So I think they're kind of sprinkled like in these greens right down here. Let's see if there's any up here. Is once I look through the camera, I gotta take my glasses off. So there's some sixes up there. So and this is on the top, as you can see, like that. Try not to move it too, too much. I don't want to get you all dizzy. But there's some more sixes, and that's so. There's more sixes over here. And I still haven't found the the letter O. 
for the blue. Okay, so we found the green. Let's see, yellow is number seven, and that's an AB as well. So let me get my glasses back on. Let's see if we could find some a seven, the number seven. So I do, oh, here's some. I see some right here. And then there's some on the top here I saw. Like there's some up here. Let me see, is that in there? Let me bring it down. Let's look at the top again. Take my glasses off. Okay, so there's no sevens right there, but I did see there's some here. Let me see that darker yellow. I don't see any there. I don't see any over here either. So I think that's about it. There's the ones in the bottom right here. Oh, and here's some over on this side. I see them right, like in there, right there. Let me find my glasses again. So I can put the canvas back up. So I'm not seeing. I like this these legends because they are a good size. Okay, I still didn't find the blue O. I love all the blues in here, but I don't see, oh, is this? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I found some right here. So it's this dark blue. And there's some more through here. Let's see, so if there's some here, maybe there's also some mirroring on the other side. Okay. Yeah, there's some right here. And there's some, there's some in here. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, there's some right there. You see that? Some more. So I guess so. There's some in this area. Some ABs over here. There's some O's right here, and then all right here are O's, and right here. And that's like on this section of the canvas. It's gonna be a lot of fun to work on. Ooh, maybe I should get this one up instead of the tiger. I don't know. I'll have to look at them. This one I actually have here, though. So that's nice. It says your masterpiece awaits. And here's their social media on Facebook and Instagram. They're captured by Radiance. They have their O Snap insurance and 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Yeah, so that's what I have for you today. And here's the beautiful color palette again. Very nice. So thank you again so much for watching. If you're still here, why don't we put some kind of ocean emoji and let me know if you have a Captured by Radiance or if you plan on eventually getting one. They have some new canvases they got in. Well, I think it's been um, a few weeks to a month now, probably even longer. But uh, yeah, so go ahead and check them out. They're a small business. Um, I'm all about shopping small businesses with my diamond paintings. Um, that's mostly what I have been buying for since 
um, the past six months or longer. I've been trying to mostly buy all my diamond painting it's from small businesses. With um, Diamond Art Club, I'm doing where I'm only getting three a year. So it helps because I am being more choosy and picky and um, I'm, and I just like that I'm supporting more small businesses. So that is where most of my diamond painting money is going and to, you know. So anyway, I guess that's it again. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment and do all that YouTube stuff that helps with the algorithm. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.